Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So episodes 9 and 10, I believe, are going to be released tomorrow in Ukraine. So I made a community post about this a few hours ago, but with US, with US airing season 11 in a week, I'm changing the way how I'm going to be approaching season 11 in Ukraine. So I will continue to do episode predictions in Ukraine based off of the Ukrainian episodes, and I'll continue to do that throughout the summer, but note that sometimes that my voice won't be in these videos since I'll be on vacation and I might be busy, so instead you'll just see videos with text. And the episode reviews themselves will be for the English versions of the episodes, which will air in America. Now, I'm not going to do the story details and thoughts videos for Ukraine episodes past this weekend. So this weekend will be the last weekend that I'm going to actually share my own thoughts on the Ukraine episodes. From then on, I'll just be talking about the American episodes, even though we are technically behind for the American episodes. But yeah, I just wanted to inform you all about how I'm going to be changing my uh, coverage schedule. But yeah, anyways, moving on to this actual episode, season 11's episodes have been harder to predict with the whole 11-minute episode thing. They are exploring new creative possibilities. We've already seen an episode based on Antonia and Nelson, and we've already seen episode 8 from the news network's point of view. So this is definitely a little bit harder to predict as it doesn't really fit in the plot as it did in past seasons. Not saying it's a bad thing, it's definitely just harder to predict. So, yeah, I think the episode 9 will probably continue ahead with the main plot as, you know, I think the trend here is that episodes, the even numbered episodes seem to be taking a bit of a break from the plot or more filler if you want to put it that way. I don't think they're necessarily filler, they do explore it from a new perspective, which I think is pretty cool, but they don't really advance the plot either. So I think episode 9 will see the ninja kind of fighting against Asphira again since the ninja pretty much got destroyed by her in episode 5. So I think episode 7, or episode 9, not episode 7, will continue to kind of focus and possibly introduce the Fire Fang 2. There's still some shots of the Fire Snake invasion of Ninjago City that we haven't yet seen. So I think we'll see more of the Fire Snakes beginning to arrive in Ninjago City, since the ones with legs and stuff, the actual human-looking ones, have still spawned in the desert and are not yet in Ninjago City, so I think that they'll either march by foot to the city or they'll arrive in those fire meteors. I think the latter is more likely. So I think we'll get to see more of the Fire Fang 2 and Asphira as well. In the last episode, we saw her pretty much taking over the news stream and making a public announcement. So I think this episode might show more of the ninja fighting against Asphira and her army of Pyro Vipers. And that's pretty much all I do have for this video. I might take another step towards the Ninjago Museum of History, but I don't think we'll really see much of that until episode 10. Once again, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know, and let me know what you thought of my predictions and what your own predictions for episode 9 of season 11 are. Once again, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.